35 minutes to get from here. <laughs> yeah. uh, cool. Awesome. That was lovely. We did this small via ferrata on what was going to be a day off, just wandering around seeing some of the local things uh, when we stayed in Assos, Assois, whatever you want to call it. Um, but it turned out to be actually really enjoyable, although extremely short. And I decided to include it in my list just because... Um, It'd be an ideal one to visit if you're not sure about Via Ferrata and you want to give it a go. Um, also, I've run out of films because I've, I've cancelled like four trips in the UK because of weather and I've just had the flu. So here's another one. Uh, it's the last of my Alps trip this year, so I hope you enjoy it. And like I said, it was a good little route. You're never more than five or ten metres from an exit. And um, so if it's... Something you wanted to try, this is the type of route that would be ideal because you can go and see what a little bridge is like to go over, etc. And you're not committed to a long Via Ferrata route to get to it. So yeah, hope you enjoy it. Let's see the film. day nice and quiet Rata de l'Ecol Busoneri Whatever that means. I was just doing that one, of course, and down here. Nice and easy, but then again, there's two boulders in the woods. So it's not going to be some nature exposed route. Good bit of fun. So you bring your kids and dogs. <laughs> There's the reach around there. Yeah. yeah. You could put a clip on that one above your head as well, but you're there now. Coolio. It's nice 
nice doing ones that are this high, uh, this easy, that you've got like half a mile drop. It's when you do one that's mega high and has overhangs, so you're feeling tired. That's when the old VFR after gets interesting. This is good fun. View again. Yeah. Oh, this is, um, this is actually reasonably tight. Some of these are really wobbly, aren't they? This is not too bad. Mine's just pretty short, that's why. There we go. Actually, that's long. That's the longer way down, isn't it? Oh, I think. Yeah, I'm going to come back. That's longer, and it gets you down to the bottom. So we're going back down there because it's a longer dip. end. Oh, picked you up there, Hamish. Is first time using my action too on its own. It's been alright. So. Uh, Buried roots on here, even though it's only a little tiny bit of rock. So we're just going down to the finish, says Hamish. Okay, like 15 minutes. Oh, 
although it's simple, it's pretty good. It's a nice little thing, good little play area. For beginners, this would be ideal because you don't have to go too far. Tell you what, if this was five minutes from my house, I'd be doing it every day as my exercise. Be really good. Have dinner and nip out for half an hour. Works the whole body, hands included. But considering it's really small, with like frequent sort of gaps to either come off or rest, yeah. I'll tell you what I was just saying. This would be really good if you lived nearby for just like a daily exercise. Because yeah. it's not long, works every bit of your body. And uh, yeah, it'd be pretty old, yeah. I felt, I felt I've used my arms on this one as well. Yeah. Um. Oh. But short and sweet. Lovely. There's the beginning. And there's the end. <laughs> Took 35 minutes to get from here. <laughs> yeah. Uh, cool. Awesome. That was lovely. Nice and easy. Lemon squeezy, but hard enough to give you a workout. Nice. <laughs> <laughs>